Are you ready? I've been ready for a long time. You've been ready for a long time. Here we are, John Packman Podcast. Beautiful downtown Portland. I, I've been away. I forgot where we are. Connecticut Valley School of Music and Dance. Beautiful downtown Portland, Connecticut. Come across the bridge. Go through one light and start looking left. There's a little bit of confusion. And we are back. We are here with Mr. Leave You Pop. I get, I get your name right. Absolutely. Okay. Drummer. <laughs> Drummer. He's, you've been around. You've been around. Everybody knows Leave You. Right? Uh, I hope so. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Leave You Pop. Yeah, man. Thanks. Um, so why don't you drummer on the scene uh maybe tell us what you're doing now so we get a sense of like who you are and then w then we can tell your whole life story <laughs> wow that's gonna take <laughs> three days in in in, in an I'm hour that old. you gotta put I'm your whole life into <laughs> an hour okay uh so presently i'm uh, grateful to be part of the bruce katz band oh okay cool. uh which is a phenomenal yeah piano player or organist uh, from New York State. Um, I've been, actually, I got the offer just recently, a few months ago. Oh, cool. I've been playing with them on and off whenever they need a drummer to fill in. And um, they made the offer uh, three months ago, probably in August. Mm -hmm. And it has been great since then. Uh, we actually had the chance not only to play in the United States, we did a uh, tour in Florida in October, and then in November we went to Europe. Oh, cool! Uh, very nice and sweet tour. Short, a little bit shorter than it was supposed to be because mm -hmm. of the virus situation sure. everywhere. And um, actually, we were supposed to go to Romania, where I'm originally from. Oh, okay. Uh, to play five shows there, and oh, everything man, just you must be didn't happen. Yes. Oh, it was so so disappointing, especially because even the airline tickets were supposed to uh, come back from Bucharest, Romania. We had to change everything. So oh, it was a, a loss in every uh, way of the um, um, the world. When's know? the last time you were back there? Uh, last time, uh, I just got back like uh, two weeks ago, actually. Before then. Oh, before then. Yeah. Um, I was there because of a personal situation with okay. my mother-in-law, okay. and uh, I was there just a month before. Oh, okay. So, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So so you didn't miss, like, your one chance to go back? Oh, yes. No, no, no. Okay. No, actually, okay. I, I was still, after we finished the European yep. tour, the Western European tour, I, I still went to Romania. Oh, okay. But they okay. had okay. to go back from Amsterdam. But you didn't do the game. You didn't yes, we, we didn't play the games. Okay, well, yeah, that's good. Exactly. At least you saw people. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So. All right. So mm -hmm. Bruce Katz, that's your main main thing at the moment? Yes. Uh, along with many other things, uh, I, I play with a lot of uh, local artists. Mm -hmm. The local scene is, as you know, because you play with sure. many of the artists. We, yeah, yeah. we play together, yeah. uh, a lot of talented people, so I'm always uh, glad uh, if they need me as a drummer yeah. or if I have the opportunity to book something, mm -hmm. I'll call them. So... Uh, and and I do some other uh, national international acts, you know, mm -hmm. but it has been difficult for yeah, the last yeah. almost two years of now. Course, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah, for everybody. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um. So take us. To, so you're from Romania. Yes. All right, and you came here. I remember when you first came here. <laughs> right? I think I do. We go. Uh, go back. back long, long we time, uh, John. Yeah, because you were I like remember a new you, guy. Yeah, yeah. I remember you because you're already established. You know, in the area, I sure. was kind of the new guy, and um, um, it, it was great. I got, I moved here to Connecticut in '94, I think, '93 okay. or '94. Yep. And then, right. and then um, the music community was so nice to me. They really embraced me. You know, I, yeah. I didn't know. What was going on? You know, who's, you know, I I did I didn't have a feel of the scene. Yeah, yeah. But uh, everybody that I met, they were so nice, yeah. and uh, somehow I got to play with people, and uh, that's where I met you because yep. you were uh, with a great band uh, back then yep. with A to the Bar. Yep. And um, I remember actually that I came to the audition. You got the gig, I, and I got the gig, and you were there because yep. Yep. they really uh, always. Uh, you know, appreciated your opinion. Uh -huh. And I think they wanted you there. 
And I remember I was playing and you were so gracious to say, oh man, there's no man, you know, or yeah, whatever, well, something yeah, to yeah, that nature. Yeah. So thank you for that. Wow. Um, but then I think it didn't last for too long because I think you got back with the band. Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. So long ago, <laughs> that, that's absolutely. Sorry. No problem. No, Sorry. no, no. It was excellent. It was a good experience yeah, for I me. Came I, and went, I came and went a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's excellent, man, because you are perfect with that band. And But I had uh, so much fun playing with them, actually. Cool. And uh, it was, for me, just enriched my experience because yeah. I needed that in the beginning. Yeah, you know? sure. So, yeah. But that's, it's quite of a, it is an experience. You yeah, it is. A lot of different styles. Very versatile. You have yeah. to be very versatile. I think this is what they were looking for. And like yourself, somebody that can play straight, uh, feel mm -hmm. uh, and a straight feel and then also to play swing and sure. um, everything yeah. else you know well when i when i joined mm -hmm. i didn't know you know it was an experience for me too I mean, yeah. by the time you were there i was already doing it for a while but it was for me too it was yes like when i joined i was young yeah it's like oh man i have to learn all this stuff i gotta you know <laughs> no but it's it, a good experience it's very good experience and it was a lot of stuff actually especially mm -hmm. the swing stuff and yep. you know that uh and and for me also stylistically speaking i had to kind of quickly adapt and sure. you know see maybe i'm not sure if i managed completely at that time you know but sure. You know, uh, it, well. that was a long time ago. <laughs> and well. and well. since then, I'm and still learning. I still feel like I'm learning every day, you know. Yeah, but you're, so. you're still doing it. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, um, why Connecticut from Romania at that time? Actually, um, I was in Los Angeles, California for approximately four years before that. Oh, okay. But okay. I have to tell you, I didn't, get, I mean, I when I first arrived from Romania, I didn't have any even, I couldn't think about, oh, I'm gonna start playing drums right now because I had to make sure that uh, I can make a living first, you know? Right, sure. So in Los Angeles, I didn't get to play that much. Uh, I was just kind of, you know, checking out uh, beautiful, I mean, the scene was sure. unbelievable. A lot of great clubs starting with yeah. Catalina and all, uh, it just happens that the owner of Catalina Bar and Grill was Romanian too, so I was able to oh, just cool. go and see cool. all kinds of great shows, great artists. Um, and then it was uh, like uh, the move was dictated by a personal situation. Okay. And uh, I came here and I didn't want to, um, now everybody, is, because I love Connecticut right now, but in the beginning yeah, I didn't sure. want to unpack for like a year. Yeah, yeah. All the boxes and everything is like, no, I'm going back to California. Mm -hmm. uh, I loved it over there. But um, then slowly, I started to know people here and and to get the feel of this. I think it's a great state, actually. I really great. Well, I've never <laughs> lived anywhere else, but yeah, I think it's a great. State. It's fantastic. Even the location we are between New York and Boston. Um, you and you can't play more than in California, even in absolutely, some kind of absolutely, because in That's California you have to drive long distances. And um, it's a lot of competition because you have all those recording artists mm -hmm. that they are willing to probably my, you know, sure. my thought is that probably they don't even need to get paid that much. It's just that they are in town right. and they are going to do a club date, you know, because right. they do the, you know, they take care of uh, their uh, financial needs by going on tours right, so and they're recording. taking up all the club gigs for people yeah like us. yeah because yeah. probably they can just play and have fun because they are in town anyway right and, and they're trying to make a living yeah exactly yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. but um well, why uh, california was it the dream like romania you were like i'm gonna go to california and and be a musician no 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 my f uh my brother actually went there okay. he left the country first and okay. then uh i went there because he was there okay. and then uh we got the situation with my wife was able to get a job here. Okay. And that's why we made the move to and Connecticut. You're just like, okay. Yeah. You started playing drums back way back then. Way back why uh, you mean in Romania? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Like absolutely. how do you get start how did you get started? Um compared with everybody here in the United States, I kind of started late. Probably okay. I was like mm, fourteen. I always naturally I was inclined for drumming, but drums were not a popular instrument in Romania. Sure. Uh, we have uh, a great culture when it comes to classical music. Mm -hmm. 
my parents were like, oh, why don't you play violin? Or And probably I would have been a classical musician because mm. um, at one point somebody lent me a violin, somebody from my family, and I was so f- fascinated with that instrument. And oh. also, it was something interesting. I used to watch classical music when I was just five or six years old. Sure. Uh, this is going to sound like, wow, this guy's wow. saying, no, but it's, I don't know if I really like the music or I was impressed with so many people playing all those instruments, but I was really into it. I mean, you don't expect somebody that is five or six years old to have the patience to listen to classical music. So I don't know, (laughs) maybe you. (laughs) I don't know, maybe. (laughs) But I don't know know if it was out of appreciation or just some, some, some... thing that really attracted me to classical music and i think in combination if i had that violin for longer because then uh whoever gave me that violin i think they they needed it back and i had it for like two months and everything uh, stopped Mm. and then i just started playing drums because naturally i was always doing that you know like probably all us drummers And um, at one point, my parents were very, very supportive, and it's like, okay, let's see what we can, what we can do. And sure. I slowly started taking some private lessons. Mm-hmm. Not there, there were a lack of. It's not like here. You, we didn't have yeah. music stores where yeah. you can go and have teachers like yourself yeah. and go. So it was even difficult to find somebody to teach you drums. Mm. So I was probably a combination between. You know, so private private uh, yeah, teaching just and it out. Um, yeah, just figuring it out and uh, self taught. Yeah. What was the was there like rock and roll? What was the first like drum set music that you heard that you were like, I want to do this? Like, okay. what's it like there? <laughs> yes. You know, absolutely. So first of all, so you understand, um, the music was not available like like you had it here. You know, when you grew up, uh, because it was a lot of censorship, and okay. probably the 60s and 70s we still were able to get to listen to music okay. uh, even from united states music from uh the uh, um from the west of europe from from um uh, western europe uh-huh. oh, sorry it was sure. probably more popular like french music it was okay dominating you know uh, or italian music but um also a lot of american music uh the 60s and maybe early 70s and then it got worse and worse because it was a lot of censorship okay. and we couldn't even listen to american music on radio or even tv so it was really really bad wow. <laughs> um, so to me um it's not like what i chose because oh out of everything i knew what i really liked right it was you more like hey what? it was a selection it was a lot of black market for music like i'll give you this LP, you give me another one. But it was very interesting because we were able to actually, the quality of the music that we're listening to, the underground movement, I should say, it was always good, you know? Oh, that's cool. So, but I was not introduced probably so much to the music that I like more these days as I was introduced to um, more like, I and I was probably attracted to, it was, progressive music okay progressive rock you okay. know okay okay so and um so that I was, was that was what was coming through. That, that, uh, t- exactly at okay. that time when i grew up and probably i was also attracted more than the classic rock you know uh to sure. the progressive sure. rock scene like uh bands like yes or genesis yep, or yep, yep. emerson lake and Empire. emerson lake and was my first band that i was like wow, okay. really really yeah I, and carl palmer there's a little was, bit of a classical influence uh, too, exactly so maybe it, exactly maybe yeah. maybe that's the connection there but i was like oh man i thought that they were gods you know yeah, and yeah. i couldn't see them ever live I mean, yeah, we yeah. didn't have all just the... Just imagine. Me- yeah, all you could do. just imagine. And then I remember that if somebody would give me a poster with like Emerson, Lake and Palmer, would be like, oh, I can't believe it. And I, I would go and study the pictures, like Carl oh, Palmer yeah. playing the, oh, yeah. you know, that beautiful set. And like, oh man, he's got this, he's got it. Because let's remember when we were very young, we didn't have all the media and all the um, techno- technology to check out everything, you yeah. know? I mean, even in America, the, the, I guess more music was available. Mm-hmm. When I was a kid, mm-hmm. there was no MTV. There was. I did the same thing. I would get a rock magazine 
and just look at the picture absolutely of the, and try to imagine that's that's all we had yeah yeah you know? uh, absolutely so uh it, it was difficult but i think that kind of research though yielded some great results because we er, we're able to just go deep into one subject or something and maybe right, right. retain it. Right. Right, right now, I don't know what I would do if I was a kid right now starting drums it's because I would get bombarded by so much information yeah. that yeah. it's all good, but it's too much. You know? Yeah, that's interesting. So I admire the youth that they somehow, they still find their way, some of them at least, you yep. know, because yep. I would be a little bit lost with being bombarded <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> with I hear, uh, I hear that all the great stuff that we have right right now Did you play with any bands in romania drum set yes okay. yes i played i played with a lot of great bands okay. great artists um it was difficult uh, again because of the censorship we sure. couldn't really play everything we wanted like wow. if you wanted to do a cover you couldn't do a cover we were supposed to play more like romanian music okay easy listening kind of or traditional yeah uh uh, popular music in Romania, mm -hmm. um, but I was um, able to. So a lot of the artists we used to play in clubs and restaurants. Yeah. But one good thing out of that is that I was able to play five or six nights of the week to oh. play every night, and you would get like a salary. Mm. And there were a lot of men. You can I cannot oh, wow. believe this because you you'd go downtown Bucharest, yeah, the, yeah. the capital where I'm from, and there were like, I was able to go, if I didn't play in a certain place, to go like maybe 15 places and check out in one night yeah, and yeah. see musicians and see drummers. And, wow. and and you might say, oh, but it was just a restaurant or something. But, yeah, but th those are some of the best musicians because there, it was no nothing else to do. There, there were, it right. was a good rock scene and maybe a jazz scene. Yep. But those shows were very rare you know so yeah, you yeah, had yeah. to sustain yourself if you are a professional by playing yeah. in one of these places yeah and yeah. like you're saying if you're that serious about it if you make your way to the, any kind of stage yes you're serious because it's so difficult to do you're probably everyone's great right? absolutely absolutely wow. and the That's other cool. thing was a struggle there was musical equipment oh musical oh. equipment it was like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, there are so sure. many funny stories yeah, yeah. <laughs> about how we all had to improvise, you yeah, know, sure. like with drum set, how, because uh, it was hard to get uh, good quality instruments back in, uh, in communist Romania. So, um, <clears throat> and so, yeah, let's not even go there, but yeah, yeah, uh, sure. uh, that was interesting. And, and it showed though, uh, the people that were really doing music, uh, they had to have a lot of passion for it so right yeah, so that was something that because uh, it was difficult you didn't make right. money on it yeah so i'm saying if you're if you're doing it then yeah. you're doing it exactly like yeah. you said yeah so wow yeah. <laughs> that's cool that's yeah cool. yeah how different was so when you came to america and started playing here mm -hmm. how different was the music how how much of a wow uh first of all um i remember going in los angeles in some music stores and I would see some drummers like just warming up or just playing, mm -hmm. checking out the drum sets. It's like, oh man, oh, I, can, no. I, can, I can never play like this. It's phenomenal. These guys are phenomenal, you know? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, just because I really love music I and I think I believed in myself that I think I have something. Yeah. I, I realized something back then that I think is still valid right now. Each one of us has got something, you know. And if I was you, just going to say that. Yeah. yeah. So um, the talent, you know, it, first of all, I think as a musician, it's important to have talent, you know. Sure. Now you have a lot of talent, you're a talent, you're a genius, sure. or you just have some talent, but you have to have something special in you, you know. So once you have that, uh, I think you can achieve something in music. You don't have to. Yeah, you have. Well, you're you're the example oh thank you so much well no thank it's, it's true yeah. when yeah when we, when we did that a to the bar audition mm -hmm. i don't know how many drummers there were yeah there, uh, 30 40 in a two <laughs> i know it was you guys have multiple days of yeah auditioning yeah and you might not have been the best but mm -hmm. you had something mm -hmm. that's why i was like yeah that guy and <laughs> cynthia knew it too it was like yeah, yeah he's yeah. got something that nobody else has that mm -hmm. no one else has yeah, yeah so 
You, I appreciate true. that. I appreciate. You no, know, you don't have to be the best. You just yeah. have to be yourself. I, abs- that's, and there's no one like you. That's so. the, the most important thing, and you have to find in yourself what it is that you can do better yeah. than everybody, than than Dev Wickles of the world right. or the right. You know, right. Uh, sure. Yeah, we're never going to catch. Them. And I'm not saying that because I mean, I mean, I have so much appreciation sure. for somebody like Dev Wickle, you know. But it's like, man, in the beginning, I was like a little bit intimidated because. Sure. I thought I'm. I have to be as good as Dev Weckl, and then I realized, hey man, I, I'm. I'm just using Dev Weckl. Sure, I don't sure, know. Sure, there sure. are so no, many no, other drummers. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. One and of then my I realized favorite. is yeah. Um, it's like man, no, no, no. Hold on a second. There's much more to music mm-hmm. than just the music of Dev Weckl, which he executes fantastic, sure. fantastically, and he's so talented. But um, I think. For the music that I play these days, or yeah. even you, yeah. there are other things that are important. And I think probably uh, right now or in the future, I can excel in those. You know? Sure. Uh, so, yeah. Especially if you want to make a living. Yeah. Dave Weckl's got all those gigs. We're not going to get them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> That's right. That's gotta, right. Gotta be Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so. thing. Absolutely. That's yeah. Cool. That's cool. Good said. Yeah. yeah. I thought I did. Well, I guess maybe I didn't know. I thought when you did the Eight to the Bar audition that you had just come from Romania, but not so. M- maybe. Uh, yeah. But n- I think it was one of the early gigs that I got yeah. uh, since I moved to Connecticut. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was in, in Los Angeles, but I told you in Los Angeles, I didn't get to play. I played I a you. few gigs, yep. but it was not. I, I, so I Connecticut worked out for you. Yeah, Connecticut actually worked out for me. People were great. More gigs. Uh, um, more gigs, yeah. I mean, I didn't even try to play too much because I didn't have time. I had to work yeah, in yeah. Los Angeles. It was like, man, I have to pay rent and I have to... Not it was the same here, but it was a little bit easier mm-hmm. to somehow start knowing people and start playing yeah. along having a day job and stuff. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah. Um, a little bit connecting wise, it was a little bit easier, probably. Yeah, once you make maybe the scene. because it's smaller too, and everybody knows everybody. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Once once you made the rounds. Yes, yeah, exactly. And yeah. and you know having the A to the bar gig doesn't hurt. Oh. You kind of you kind of came in a little bit at the a little more you know towards the top end of the local scene. Absolutely. So everybody knows knew who you were pretty pretty quick. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that helped. That helped. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Um. Cool. <laughs> and then what came after that? You, um, Do you remember I think, way back when? I think, I, I'm not sure, but I played a lot just local gigs, you know. Yeah. I mean, I have to tell you, it, it has been a struggle for me. I cannot say that it was easy, and it's not easy even right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's nothing came out of the wind, you know, mm-hmm. or uh, mm-hmm. I feel like everything in order to, you know, go up, and play with better and better musicians, or not better, but more experienced, sure. maybe. I don't know. Uh, it took a while. Nothing yeah. um, came easy, you know. Uh, it's just that either in terms of getting better of what at what I'm doing, yep. I realized, oh, man, I have so much to work on. Yeah. First of all, not so much on tec- the technical aspect sure. to me. Uh, it was more stylistically to sure. understand you know because sure. everybody's like man blues shuffles ah yeah, yeah, come yeah. on every yeah, yeah, yeah. and and it's not nothing it's like a double shuffle is a double shuffle depends how you put it depends right right how you even right. approach a song or how mm-hmm. i think it's something almost telepathic between you and the other players yeah, because yeah. it's like we still play the same thing, but yep. one guy sounds better than the other one, you know, yeah, but it's yeah. still the same pattern. Is there know? anything, was there a cultural, in Romanian music, is there anything equivalent to that? Or American blues, you're just, you're starting from? Uh, so when it, uh, I think we have a good jazz school in Romania, okay. or we have, we had, and we still. So you can having, swing. So you yeah, yeah. That. So the swing is there okay. i think but when it it came to blues yeah, sure. like the shuffle yeah, and yeah. i have to tell you that to me to me at least i don't yeah. want to speak for the other people but my generation i don't think that was not educated i shouldn't say but maybe not very familiar with what blues really means yeah, sure. to us it was either the swing the jazz and then the other thing was rock you know yeah, yeah. and in between it was probably um 
blues rock maybe a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah. but the shuffle was not something that drummers would play back in Romania okay um, and it was something that I had to learn here yeah because like, yeah well, we, everybody does it here yes exactly yeah. and uh, uh, but it's beautiful and I think it's still something that I'm working on it As, yeah, yeah. even if you I think you know, yeah, we, we sure. know it's a double shuffle, it's a single shuffle. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's just something that I always constantly, is like I discover something new, you know, yeah. uh, to me. But um, oh, That's interesting. Yeah. When I when I played with Eight to the Bar, mm -hmm. I played shuffles, but I couldn't s just swing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And Cynthia would always be like, no, no, no shuffle, no shuffle. <laughs> so like I went the other way. Like I had to forget how to shuffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to learn the swing part. Ah, that was what I didn't have. Yeah, yeah, I had the like swing. some of the other stuff. But yeah. the swing thing, I was like, well, I don't know how to just, I want to, yeah. no, it's not a shuffle, it's, it's swing. Not. Oh, wow. So that's interesting. It, everybody's different. You, know? you are pointing out a good, uh, um, good thing here. So and, I always struggle with the swing. In that band, I was always struggling with that. Yes, that's interesting because the swing also it, it's another th thing that you have to kind of pay attention to what you are doing. The emphasis is more on the symbol, uh, but right. of course you've got some left hand action. But sure. most of the time, if it's swing like eight to the bar, it's two and four yep. instead of yep. all you know. And that's another thing that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working on all these things permanently. I cannot say that I got it, you know, because I think I, I mean, yeah, no, no, nobody does. <laughs> I think so. Because you think, oh, I got it now. And then you go and play with another artist and they prove that it doesn't oh, happen. Man, yeah, it's yeah. not, what, what am I doing wrong? You know, or you just have to, yeah. yeah. But um, it? It, it's a difference. Even right now is like when, when. Do I do a double shuffle? When do I play a single shuffle? When do I play just yeah. quarter notes on yep. the yeah. uh, and or I double it up yep. on the cymbal too? Or you know, and, and I think it's dictated by the moment, mm -hmm. by the artist that yep. you play with. The uh, they want you to push it, or they yep. want you to be laid back, and uh, so many variables that that's the beauty of our instrument, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like you say, most people go shuffle. Yeah. And what what it, what what is there to it? Yeah, and then you realize there's a, there's there can be a lot to it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it. yeah. So, um, would you consider? So you ended up? Would you say you're kind of like the blues drummer? Uh, would you say or no? Uh, thank you for saying that. I I would I take it as a compliment. But uh, I think I like. You do a uh, lot of those gigs. I I do a lot of blues these days, but. I like funk, I yeah, like yeah, soul, yeah. and yeah. I like yeah. straight ahead jazz. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a chance to play straight ahead jazz that much. Right. Sure. Like all of us, unfortunately, right. yeah, yeah. because it's not in demand anymore. Right. right. But um, whenever I get to do that, I'm like, it, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But I like the, a lot of funk and soul and and blues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, but when you say blues, blues involves shuffles sure. or. Uh, includes shuffles and straight fields. Yep. So yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, yep. that's true. Mm -hmm. um, your funk plan? How, did that come from Romania? Did you start on that? Because Trump? that was what you had too. That was cool when you Thank were you. doing the James Brown thing. It was like, oh, hey, now. <laughs> you know, I think probably I had a little bit more of a, um, a funk um, approach back from Romania, where oh, cool. Romanian musicians were like, we, they really liked funk. Oh, cool. And I was able to play with a few bands. They even ha had horns. And it was like, oh, man, that's, I always yeah. enjoy. And even right now, um, it's one of my, you know, most favorite situations if I get to play with a horn section. Yeah, but yeah. It's so rare these yeah, yeah, days, yeah, yeah. you know. And to just play a fun yeah. groove and to be able to lay back and not worry about anything just yep. because everything is happening anyway you know ah it's, yeah, it's beautiful so but unfortunately you know yeah. it's hard we do what to, we gotta do yeah it's hard to book a trio gig this this yeah, yeah. how about an <laughs> eight piece man yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I hear yeah. That. wow mm -hmm. so then you just kept at it and yeah got, um, got your name I, around. I think i've played with uh, a lot of great local people uh i if if I start mentioning them, I have to mention all of them, well, uh, because uh, you you know all of them too, probably. and um, uh, they are great players. Um, I actually 
later on i i got involved with chris tofield oh yeah sure yeah. you know he yep. moved to yep. uh, las vegas and yep. not only that we got to play here but then we went to romania and played there oh i didn't know that oh man That's cool. everybody loved chris over there yeah, yeah wow. uh that was like oh man i'm not good when it comes to history sure uh probably 10 years i think even more oh, chris wow. would be better with that um 10, 12 years ago, wow. or maybe even 15 right now. I, I just, I yeah, yeah, just yeah. I'm not good with that. Oh. Um, and we went there once, and then we ended up going for another three times. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't man. Know that. Oh, that's Everybody cool. loved him because, yeah. you know, Chris is such a soulful player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can player. feel it no matter uh, what. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And um, next time he's in Canada, he's coming out. Oh, great. Oh, good, great. Good, 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 great. Good. He yeah, should. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's a good. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and he's cool. a he's a storyteller too. So yeah, that's great. Just that you're gonna need four hours to book for. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, but uh, yeah, he. So I felt like when I went back to Romania with Chris, uh, that was a, a great movement. I think that the musicians and not only the musicians but the audience was like, okay, they were. St- Try, they were discovering the blues, you know, wow. not because of us going there, but it was just uh, a, a good uh, timing, yeah, I think. Yeah. By the time the blues, the real blues, got to Romania and the audience, and they you know, people what to, he was yeah, doing. exactly. So, and what was great about it that we booked uh, these tours and we played some theaters and some big, um, you know. V- larger venues, I should say, but most of them, they were clubs, small clubs. And it was very important for the Romanian um, blues lovers to see somebody like Chris in in an intimate setting, like maybe only 50 or 100 people max. Instead of everything that we had back then, like 15 years ago, probably it was, uh, all the big acts coming from the States and popular acts, they were like, big venues you know and you have the distance and it's fantastic yeah. but you don't have the you know and i think we we did something and I, f- I i was involved with booking uh you know because i was from there and i felt like man we want to play the small clubs yeah because yeah, i yeah. think uh it's something unique and special uh for the romanian audience back then right now they have everything but yeah, oh really back then yeah. 15 years ago it, it was a little bit uh hard to yeah. get to listen to like this you say, kind of music makes makes the most sense in that kind of yeah yeah setting. absolutely yeah. yeah that's cool yeah did you see they but you people must have been proud of you your friends must have been like look oh yeah he is. I, I think i think uh yeah i i but it's always special for me to play in romania yeah, you know yeah, because yeah. um I love romania and uh i have a lot of friends a lot of musician friends mm-hmm. and um, yeah, they usually come to the shows. And they are very supportive, cool. and uh, yeah, I'm 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 proud if I can bring, you know, some of the artists that I work here with yeah. to bring them over there, uh, and hopefully, hopefully, I don't know, uh, be an influence on the young kids or yeah. something. You know, maybe yeah. they you it's come some kind are, of a you spark. Already are. I, I'm hoping that there were a few people that they told me because 15 yeah. years ago maybe they were 14 and 15 now they are 30 and yeah, yeah, I yeah. had a couple of people that said man I saw you with Toffel that's just phenomenal sure. made me play like this or like that sure. and that's so rewarding you know it's that's amazing it's you know so yeah. so um, that's cool yeah <laughs> Chris Toffel yeah, yeah 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 so um, and we are still playing when whenever he comes back to town mm-hmm. we do a few yep. shows yep. um and yeah, um, now I'm playing with another kind of local band, is Sweet Daddy Cool Breeze, if you know of them from Massachusetts. Okay, who's in but, that? Uh, it's it, Wally Greeny, okay. Wally Greeny, uh, harp player and singer. Yep. Um, actually, we won the competition and we represented the state of Connecticut. Uh, the last time anything could right. happen right. and Memphis was happy and uh, we went there and uh, we got to the semi-final yeah. stage which is you know out of I don't know a hundred and something bands yeah, yeah, from yeah. all over the world yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty impressive I, I mean we're happy with it and um, um, yeah Mark Easton used to be okay. the guitar player yep. if you remember the yep. Easton brothers yep. yeah Mark Easton unfortunately not with us anymore very very talented man 
No. Um, and um, I'm still playing. Actually, I'm Mark playing Mark Easton. Mark Easton. Okay, not Malucci. Oh, you're thinking of you're thinking of something else. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. yeah. Um, uh, this is what's his name? Mark. Uh, yeah, he's thinking about Mark Malucci. I, he thought he, I had Mark on. And we had a band called um, Daddy Cool mm-hmm. way back in the day. Not this Daddy band. Cool. Daddy cool, but oh. you're, this is a whole different. This thing. is a sweet daddy cool yeah, breeze, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know about that. Daddy yeah. cool and sweet daddy cool breeze. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm playing with them on Friday, um, somewhere in Massachusetts, Holyoke, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Great band. Uh, they play originals. You know, yeah. a lot of great artists. Um, I I I don't want to mention all of them. It's gonna take. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh. But uh, I'm always. Glad if they call me to play with them, um, and I hope they will continue to do so. Yeah, and let's hope so. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope yeah. anybody calls anybody yeah. for anything <laughs> for these at days. Any time for yeah, yeah. Exactly. absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, um, yeah. Who are some of your uh, drum heroes? Oh, do you have just some? You know, I I know you're gonna get to this question, and I'm so oh atypical when it comes to this question. That's, um, yeah, because wait. I'm not one, uh, one the guy that is gonna say number one, two, and three. Yeah, these sure. are the drums. Sure. I I can never decide. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I've been influenced by anybody, starting with you know famous sure. drummers, yep. uh, going to the local guy that I don't even know who who yeah, or yeah. she is. Yeah, you just take it all in. It, blows my mind it's like oh phenomenal yeah, yeah. or or maybe not it's not blowing my mind but it's doing something that is like wow i yeah. didn't think about that yeah, you know yeah, yeah. so i'm i'm really i think to me i'm probably more influenced if i go and see a guy, guy like you play <laughs> and i say wow john is doing that like that then when i go and see like a big show with yeah, st- yeah. stardom on stage everything yeah. like oh um I don't know. It's just something that I. It seems to me I picked it up. I, I'm able to pick it up. Maybe just because I know the guy. It's like man, I like what he's doing. Yeah, right. You know, and you hear how it's, it's different. Yeah, it? yeah. Something I relate to that. Um, so it's a hard question for me always yeah, to yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah. I don't have that one, two, three, yeah, four, yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. But um, so I'm not gonna answer it. But All right. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Uh, a lot of drummers that I like. You know, yeah. famous. Cool. The first one I can tell, like I mentioned it to you, was Carl Palmer, you know, sure, sure. which I don't listen to that kind of music that much. Not that I don't enjoy it, but right. there are other things that I enjoy more these days. But that was know? one of the first things you noticed. Yes, yes, a- absolutely, absolutely. May, I don't know even if it was by choice or by selection. It was a sure. selection that was presented to me out of the selection that I had available. Yeah. Carl Palmer was the man for me. Sure. You know, and I think he's still a place phenomenal yeah because i've heard some recordings it's, it keeps in good shape and, yeah uh, it's yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah you can't you can't knock that yeah carl, yeah yeah carl palmer yeah um all right well let's think you know we we still have time so you, you're gonna have to talk about somebody <laughs> you know oh okay um in terms of uh drumming yeah yeah like okay um uh, like, like who ma- do you think you're a combination of is that possible oh man probably not it's like the same question i i think i think i never thought of me in okay. terms of okay. that seriously yeah, yeah, yeah um all right um i'm i i wish i could say oh you know a few great names and say yeah, i'm yeah, a combination yeah. of that but <laughs> probably not you know <laughs> um uh, it's interesting like sometimes i'm attracted by drummers that are not probably as popular as you know some of the big big names but it's this german guy that uh these days once yep. in a while i check out what he does i don't know if you've heard of benny greb oh yeah sure yeah, phenomenal yep. i yeah, mean yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he's yeah. german and uh, yeah. you know you some people say uh, german people are a little bit more <laughs> rigid but not necessarily no, I don't think and so. this guy I, I kind of like what he does because he's got a lot of facility in terms of techni- the technical aspect, but he's actually a groove guy, you know, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and very yeah. tasty. Yeah, yeah, I think that's um, true. I, I'm always, I've been attracted to that part of our drumming, you know, right. uh, the style and, yeah. and how you uh, make the music sound better. 
Yeah. How do I make a transition from verse to chorus mm-hmm. and back to verse? Yeah. That's I'm trying not to overthink too much. Yep. But when I listen back to something that I play, it's like, no, that wasn't yeah, right, yeah. you know. <laughs> and I always try to maybe see what what maybe something else is gonna work. Maybe yeah, not yeah. play anything, maybe leave space, yeah, which yeah, is a yeah, good yeah. idea yeah. always, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right but point. this these are the aspects of drumming that interest me more than uh all kinds of sure. very complicated complex patterns yeah i agree yeah. uh yeah. which i i like that and i appreciate the people that they do it but to me um i'm still trying to play a four four groove and make it sound really good yeah 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 oh. <laughs> it's still a work in process yeah, yeah. well that's cool yeah 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 well i suppose it's better to they say it's it's always better to aspire to to feel like you're still working on something than to feel like okay i got it uh, and whatever you know we can never we're, say that yeah. we're never going to arrive uh, you know absolutely absolutely you no know? i mean that's the way i feel too i just every gig it's I, i'm sure you're like this too it's like every gig you're only as good as your last gig absolutely so like if i play a gig that i don't feel like i'm as good as i was i'm like well that's it it's over you know you said it so well right now and that that's why i'm saying um when i i told you that you know i i got to a point and i'm so grateful to you know playing with a lot of great artists yeah. local or national uh but it's still a process and it's a struggle because you have to prove yourself the better you get the better gigs you get to play with yeah, people yeah. yep once you go and play with somebody else and they say oh this is the drummer that he plays with no so so man you have to really show it to them that you deserve yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> and and people tend to be critical you yeah, know so. and it's like oh you know yeah so, what's the big deal with yeah this what's the big deal <laughs> exactly and like you said you have to prove yourself and you are as good as your last gig you know yep somebody comes and see me play maybe i'm not having a great night maybe maybe i don't click with the band Yep. maybe something there and they see me and is i'm not at my t- t- yes. the top game yeah, or yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like oh man the the impression is there man yeah uh, that's well, why i always like to give people a few yeah. you know just don't go listen to one thing just listen to more yeah, things yeah, 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 yeah. especially if you hear good things about somebody you know don't mm-hmm. be like oh what's the big deal about him <laughs> actually it's not so great you never know of yeah. the situation or yeah, yeah right know. right yeah. especially when you're like us when you could be playing with a different group of people every time yes it's hard to kind of get a thing together you know uh, absolutely you know F- thanks for mentioning that because you're just trying to fix it you yeah. like you do a gig you're just trying to get through it fix it and make it sound decent you're, yeah that, that's it absolutely and sometimes by the nature of our instrument though we are the victims because nobody know what's happening you know yeah yeah, yeah. uh wh- how the song is gonna end uh, or what's yeah. <laughs> uh, what's this bridge here you know and then by the nature of our instrument because it's not only a powerful instrument but it's very visible in terms of oh sure visible you know like to me the most visible things on stage is the singer and the drummer okay because people relate either to vo- voice or rhythm yeah and everybody else doesn't know what's happening you don't know either and then you decide i'm gonna stop i think it's a break and yeah right right and oh it, man you didn't have terrible, to stop yeah right? yeah yeah <laughs> everybody notices that you yeah, know yeah, or yeah. or you keep going you're like everybody yeah, is like yeah. okay the end of the song and then yeah. oh man and yeah. it's like i hate those situations but with good experienced musicians usually it doesn't happen you know because right. everybody still know how to escape from that yeah, or yeah. maybe just turn it around and sure a mistake turn it into a good thing yeah you know? or you know the thing if it's a mistake just play it four times now, yeah now it's a part <laughs> it's a part that's right that's right absolutely but yeah it, it's interesting because like you said you and i we do a lot of one sure. night gigs yep. and um, even if i play with the band maybe it was a year ago or you know and it's always what you knew it's like oh i i think i know what they play yep. this song and then you go 
one year later and you play it and meantime they changed it because it was like oh we had another drummer we had another you know the so everything so you've played with ray lately (laughs) (laughs) very good conclusion yeah (laughs) very good (laughs) (laughs) oh man that was good Uh, (laughs) i don't even mean i just said it because he was here yeah yeah yeah. no i have the same thing i play with ray not Mm -hmm. every time yeah it's always different it's always different which is kind of fun about it i mean it's kind of you know. I like that about him and the fact that he he takes popular top 40 songs yeah. and then it's one of the few guys that he's not looking like okay let's let's do verse to verses chorus yeah. he he takes the melody the verse the, the and and then he goes into improv mm-hmm. he tries to create parts to me that's the way cover music should be played you know yeah right yeah uh, do a version of it. Well, right, right. We're like you were saying before. He's got something to say. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just going to play the song. He's going to go this the way I would play the song. Yes. It the way he would play it. And it always comes better than try to right. really copy the artist, which not even the original artist. Once in a while, you go see Sometimes, them, yeah. and they don't even play it yeah, like yeah. Uh, it was recorded. Yeah, so, yeah. Here we are. So to... why should we, you know, yeah. just take what inspires you? Maybe it's the melody. Maybe it's the groove, and and take it and make it your own yeah, yeah I, I think i agree with you that would be great yeah. i was a big when i was young i didn't quite understand that one of my first bands that i really liked when i was you know get, kind of getting started on drama was the police that oh, was one of my favorite band. great great band and you i re, it took me a long time to realize like i listened to the records mm-hmm. and learn every note you know learn everything <sighs> and then i saw them yeah and they didn't play it any <laughs> And I realize now that they're actually like a jam band. Yeah. Kinda. They wow. were like one of the original. J- That's why I look at it. That's and you're like, so the police, what you hear on the record is the way they played it that day in the studio. That's that, interesting. By the time they get on tour, it's completely different because I, I don't know if it's a jazz mentality or just that they're always messing around, but they're, I mean, the arrangements are generally, but I mean, they were, I, I realized by the time I saw them, the things the, that they did two albums ago, they, it wasn't even close to the same. And I'm wow. just like, well, that's what they do. That's interesting just, because I wouldn't have thought that about police. I right. thought they were very structured. No. So no. what you are yeah. telling me, it gives me even more appreciation for at for the time, yeah, the yeah. music. Yeah, that when they, they were, I, I think, mm-hmm. whatever. We we can't talk about the police, much, <laughs> but I think after a while they got. But there was that kind of period. Yeah, yeah. Where you know they would be playing an arena show and they were jamming. Wow. You know, they were just like, you know, would get verse, chorus, verse, chorus, whatever. Phenomenal, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, oh, it's like a jam band. You know? That's 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 great. So man. the recording is just mm-hmm. that. It's literally recording. What happened? They yeah. On, they keep moving. So. That's the way it should be, actually, because right, right. we all change, human beings, you know, we right. change from one day to another day. Why, why the song sure. should stay the same? I mean, I know one of the reasons is that People like to hear the same song, you know, but you can always present it a little bit different. You sure. Know? Yeah. Sure. With a different structure, different arrangement. But, um, wow, interesting. It's good yeah. that you, you got to see them live. That's, I did. Yeah. I saw them twice. Luckily. Yeah. I was nice. young. Yeah, I was yeah, young. yeah. You know what's funny? And then I'll mm. stop talking about the police, but I went when I was probably in junior high. Like I was young, mm-hmm. 12, 13, 14. Yeah. And went with my older sister and it blew my mind, but I didn't understand what was going on. You know, I just like, this is wild. And of course now the age that we live in, I found online a bootleg of that exact gig. Oh man. But, and I'm like, Oh, this is, and now I hear it and I'm just like, wow. <sighs> now I hear what like... they're doing, but it was just funny that I'm like, that's what I heard. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm thinking, I wonder what I would have thought when I was 14, I would have been like, I don't understand any of this <laughs> at all. Like it's so wild. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's and interesting. It, and though. it exists, you know, yeah. like you can find anything now if somebody recorded it. Yeah. It's they... on YouTube or something somewhere. Wow. That's, so I heard that's it. interesting. Yeah. yeah to. Yeah. To be able to go back to exactly what you yeah. experienced Funny. life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And hearing it with with my ears now. Yeah, which is different. Yeah. That's that's another thing because we change. We change the, yeah, our yeah. taste changes and everything. But some things we still appreciate the same, you know. Yeah, I think but, so. But uh, yeah. Which brings us to the questions. Mm-hmm. So are you a practicer? Uh I'm not. Okay. Uh, I wish it. I was. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sure. Um, I have moments and maybe time frames when I go and practice, but I get sure. bored really quickly. 
<laughs> unfortunately. Okay. And uh, I just, I'm more of an instinctual drummer, I mm -hmm. think, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, favorite albums? Like, you, you, you understand, like, Desert Island album, you know what that means, right? Like, you're, you're trapped on a desert island with nothing. What albums would you yeah. bring with you? Thanks for mentioning that. Uh, wow, uh, the same here. Oh, man, it's know, hard. It's hard for me to... Wow, there's so much music because I like so many styles. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me that. I cannot okay. answer it. Well, give us an idea, just so we know who... It's like... You don't have to make your choice forever, mm -hmm. but just give us a, a couple that give us an idea of of who you are, what you what you like. Um, I I'll tell you this that after my progressive rock period, sure, I discovered accidentally James Brown. Oh wow! And when I first, it was a cassette tape mm. back then. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Man, and I didn't even know who he was. You yeah, know? right. It was right, like right. somebody played it. Yeah. And it's like, oh man, this is phenomenal. And I thought, you know, that because he's, he wasn't singing, you know, like James Brown was making more like. Sure. He, it was a lot of instrumental thing. And his singing is, yeah. I don't know how to call it, but yeah, it's yeah. not Nobody singing. Does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But and I, I, I was like, absolutely, I fell in love with that groove. And, yeah, and yeah, yeah. So that's something that if you put me in an island, I would like to have the James Brown albums, sure. probably, sure. Uh, starting with the early ones, which was unrecognizable when yeah, I yeah. listen right now to the early yeah, yeah. ones, but they were still good. It was more singing back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that stuff, and too. Then, yeah. And then, uh, so James Brown, out of the classics, uh, would be one that, you know, to me, would be very important to... Yeah, uh, that would cover well, a lot. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> I know. Um a lot of great artists that's why it's hard for me to really say it's just one or two or three sure i don't know i'm a, i'm a, an amalgam a mix of yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, emotions when it comes to all kinds of artists so okay. probably i need i would need thousands of albums yeah, yeah, with yeah. me <laughs> <laughs> me, but, too. me too uh, yeah i i know i know um yeah. it's it's something that um i i don't know i i like diversity yep. and as long as it's something fresh there, yeah. you know, the spirit. I feel yeah. like, oh, man. And it's interesting because I, f I find fresh spirit right now. I'm listening to music from the 50s, and it's like, man, this is fresh. Yeah, me, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, it was. Maybe yeah. because I haven't listened that much, yeah, but yeah, it's still yeah. fresh these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's sure. fresh to me because probably I'm just listening right now to it, you know. Right. It's, it's and, but it was fresh then. It was, was fresh then. Like uh, it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, then, th then it was... I don't know what's other word fresher than fresh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Even yeah. right now, it's like, man, I can't believe yeah, it. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. So cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what food? What food type? What food thing could you eat every day? Every day? Yeah. I'm not a sophisticated eater. Yeah, I just, me I just uh, uh, like simple food. Yep. Everything that takes uh, more to cook it than to eat it, uh, <laughs> it doesn't make sense for me. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm very simple, you know. Yep. Uh, and I like, I like meat, meat but, potatoes. Uh, but meat, meat uh, potatoes, veggies. I'm, I'm as satisfied with uh, <laughs> any vegetables or salads or really? anything. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not. Uh, a food connoisseur. I don't okay. cook. Do you? Uh, kinda. Not. Oh, not. Not, not really. Not. not really. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. Um, I never got into cooking. Okay. I can barely do fried eggs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> I, can, I can do it if I really need to. Yeah. Right. right. Um, but if I'm, you were on the desert island, you'd have to. <laughs> yeah. Have absolutely. To, to. So. Um, no, but uh, nothing, uh, nothing special when it okay. comes to to food with me. All right. I'm I'm probably boring in that chapter. It doesn't matter. It's a, yeah. such a weird question. I don't. I, I just, some <laughs> people up, care yeah. about food. Some people don't. I absolutely. Don't, absolutely. I media. I kind of, but not really. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about food that much. No, no. I I like eating. And, sure. <laughs> uh, but I'm not. Now I'm not an explorer. I right. I, I would rather. Um, yeah, if I go to a foreign country or something sure. and they, 
yeah, I mean, if it's presented like it's something very special, depends on what it is, you know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very particular about what I eat, you know. Like I, I have to know what it is, and <laughs> <laughs> I right, don't know. Right. Yeah, who cooked it and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. like that. I'm a little bit, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know, um, anything you want to add or conclude with, we could we could wrap it up mm -hmm. if, you, if you want. Yes. Uh, Tell us what you're doing, what we should be looking out for now. Um, what I want to say is this, that uh, I appreciate what you guys do, oh, John, with this thank you. podcast. Thank you. I think uh, it could be very inspiring. Uh, like it was for me watching a few of the yeah, sure. past episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice. Even those are people that I know very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you hear a podcast and it's like, oh, I didn't know this about that guy. I know, guy, that's you know? why I like doing it too. I learn things about people that I know, but we don't talk for an hour yeah. like about yeah exactly awesome. and we yeah. don't we don't know a lot of details and stuff and uh, i think it's a great idea i i hope you'll continue doing it um, i'm gonna and yeah uh, until i run out of people along with the uh, the great drumming that you do oh, uh, always come on we don't have to talk yeah. about me <laughs> uh, why not you know <laughs> why not uh it's always interesting when uh, a drummer is interviewed by another drummer you know sure because we we, we get into some stuff. I hope it wasn't too boring for people that might listen to this, eh. but we didn't get too technical about That's it. That's all right. You, yeah. you know what we're going to, and you're going to be on this list too, but the plan is one of these days, I keep saying this, we got to get together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a different kind of show. We're going to do this too, but mm -hmm. some of the shows are going to be, I'm going to have a drum set set oh, up and we're that just going to play interesting. and talk and demonstrate and play. Yeah. So you're on that list. Oh, so that, that, happen. that would be great. Man. Yeah, that's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. Yeah, that just to yeah. be able to, yeah. uh, um, you know, ex uh, give some examples yeah. of what we're talking yeah. or just having a, a yep. nice conversation and learning from each other. That's, what, know, I'm That's what I'm hoping. Something. I'm hoping. And uh, of course, Dave Kuzminski. Oh, Dave's the best. Yeah. So tell uh, me about, qu real quick, how long you known Dave? Oh, Dave. I didn't realize you guys I've, had history. I've, I've known Dave for 15, 20 years, probably. Wow. Am I right? He played many gigs with me. Yes, many oh, wow. gigs. Okay. All is great. He always takes care of everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, everything well planned. The first. Oh, I don't know about we well did, planned, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> but, but when did that happen? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> With Teresa Wright, yeah. beautiful singer. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, we used to play a few shows. We did like a few annual events. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and it was always great working with him. And of course, always great seeing you, John. Oh. Uh, besides listening to you sometimes playing the drums. <sighs> Uh, asking me questions. <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah. Hey, why not? Why not? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we do so, what, we do what we can, especially, no, especially now. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. You know. Yeah. I'm really glad important. you came here. Thank you. Thanks a mug. for. Ah, uh, oh, wow. Mug. Do you drink? Do you drink liquids? I, uh, I drink liquids. I know you're not, yes, oh, good, yes. Okay. Uh, not, not blood, human <laughs> blood. Like some people think, I'm from Transylvania. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm just gonna have yeah, a yeah. fresh. Uh, yeah. Um, bottle of human blood That's always fine. in my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, awesome. thanks guys for having hey, me. Thank you. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, let's keep doing this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, you'll be back when we do the drum thing. We'll definitely get you on. Great. Here. Thanks, man. Leave you pop. That's his name. Yeah. Playing drums is his game, right? <laughs> oh, very good. Hey. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> wow. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that all week. <laughs> John Peckman Podcast, Connecticut Valley School of Music and Dance, beautiful downtown Portland. Come across a bridge, go through one light, take a right. We have mugs for Christmas, mugs and shirts. Go to our merch page, right? Like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, you can hear this anywhere that podcasts are. Listen after for Dave telling you how you can have your very own podcast right here. Clearly, it's not that hard to do. Thank you. That is all. If you'd like to start your own podcast, give us a call at Connecticut Valley School of Music and Dance. Our professionally designed podcast space is here for all your recording needs. Rent out our studio to do interviews with up to four people to record audiobooks, social media content, and all other recorded material. Our rentals include a private studio along with our professional-grade podcasting equipment and we can customize your output to whatever your needs are. We also have green screen capabilities, which will expand to uh, video capability if you so wish. So check us out here at convalley.net forward slash podcast.